Hi, I'm Joseph Gorman, Chief of the Ann Arbor Fire Department. A fire can be a frightening place to be, especially if you're unprepared. Please share this video with your friends and family. Together, we can save lives. A fire in your home is the most frightening and deadly event a person may encounter in their lifetime. Each year, fires kill more Americans than all other natural disasters combined. And 80% of those fire deaths occur in residences. We'll cover several points in this short video. Each one of them could possibly save your life or the life of someone you love. The first rule of fire safety is to know what to do if you find yourself in a fire. The best way to do that is to make a fire plan. Study the fire plan and practice it with your family. Your fire plan will be unique to your residence and should outline all the exits in your home, including the windows, and show a meeting place outside where everyone can gather out of harm's way. Remember, once you've reached your meeting place, never go back into the house. The head of the household should remain on site to notify the fire department that everyone has gotten out safely. Be prepared to provide the location and type of fire. This information is very beneficial to the firefighters. Practice the plan at various times and under a variety of circumstances, such as after dark. Leave the lights off as you practice. Your home's electricity could be affected by the fire, so you'll need to know your way around your home in the dark. Smoke and darkness can be disorienting, so stay low and place one hand on the wall to help you navigate to a door or window. Make a plan for each member of your family. Remember that babies and young children, as well as older adults, may need extra help to get out of the home. Post the plan in a prominent place where everyone can see it and memorize it. A great time to practice it is the same time you check the batteries in your smoke detectors. You can cut your risk of dying in a house fire by half by having a working smoke detector. Two-thirds of fires that kill children under the age of five happen in houses without a working smoke alarm. Smoke detectors save lives. Make sure that you have enough smoke detectors in your home to protect your family. There should be smoke detectors in all areas of your home. Make sure that one is installed on each floor and inside each bedroom. Bedroom areas are the second most common place for fires to start. Don't forget to check the batteries at the same time you adjust the clocks in the spring and fall for daylight savings time. Installing both smoke alarms and a fire sprinkler system reduces the risk of death in a house fire by 82 percent compared to having neither of those preventative measures. Fire sprinklers save lives, reduce property loss, and can even cut the costs of home insurance premiums. So remember to check with your insurance agent. Do you know where your fire extinguisher is? There should always be a fire extinguisher within reach, say five feet of the stove and the fireplace. Five pound is the recommended size. Over one quarter of all home fires start in the kitchen. Cooking is the most common cause of all house fires in this country. It is also the leading cause of all fire-related injuries occurring in the home. There should also be a fire extinguisher located on every floor of your home in a location that everyone knows about. ABC class fire extinguishers apply to most hazards in the home. The A portion of the extinguisher takes care of most common ordinary combustibles, like paper. The B portion takes care of grease and oil. And the C portion takes care of electrical fires. Attempt to use a fire extinguisher only if all of the following apply. The building is being evacuated. The fire department is being called. The fire is small and contained. The exit is clear and you can fight the fire with your back to the exit. You are trained and confident about using the fire extinguisher. And you can stay low to avoid breathing the smoke. 
Don't forget to check your fire extinguisher contents to make sure it's still loaded at least once or twice a year. They do lose their effectiveness over time, even if they aren't discharged. Do you know how to use a fire extinguisher? Simply use the pass method. Here's what we mean. P. Pull the pin. A. Aim at the base of the fire. S. Squeeze the handle or the trigger. S. Sweep at the base of the fire. Pull the pin. Aim at the base of the fire. Squeeze the handle or the trigger. Sweep at the base of the fire. When using an extinguisher, be aware that they can be very loud. This is entirely normal. The contents are highly pressurized and the noise that is generated can sometimes frighten the user. Does everyone in your family know how to contact the 911 operator? Thanks to the popularity of the 911 television program, even many children have used the 911 service to save the life of someone in their family. Make sure that everyone in your family, even the young children, knows how and when to call 911. Getting help quickly in an emergency situation can mean the difference between life and death. Make sure that if you need to make that call, that you listen carefully to the 911 operator. The operator will ask you to identify the emergency. Stay on the line and listen. We're glad you had the opportunity to watch this fire safety presentation. Please remember our four simple fire safety rules. Make and practice a fire plan. Install smoke detectors. Know how to use a fire extinguisher. And be prepared to contact 911. If you'd like more information on fire safety, please contact the following organizations.